Now, you may be finding that in your quest to either start your first business or grow and scale your business, that you're running into obstacles. Maybe you can relate. I know even to this day, after 25 years of doing this, it still happens to me. So how do you overcome things like overwhelm? Maybe it's because you've got so many different technical, new technical terms, new technical things that are confusing and complicated, or some of the marketing stuff can be complicated and confusing. But there's a lot of different reasons that you can be stuck in overwhelm. Another common thing that happens to people is they just are uncertain. Maybe you're not overwhelmed, but you're just uncertain of what to do next to have success. Maybe you've kind of started to dabble, started to get a little bit of traction, and you're just sort of stuck not knowing what the right move is next. And then finally, what a lot of people run into is pure frustration. Maybe you're not overwhelmed. Maybe you're not uncertain. You're just feeling stuck and frustrated. Maybe I'm the only one that goes through this. I, I don't know. But I know it happens to me every time I start a new business. So I have a guest who will be joining me and we're going to talk about what these things are and then we're going to give you some help with how to get through it. How do you actually overcome these things to get to the other side? I know you see people on Instagram and Facebook and different places talking about their successes. And sometimes it feels like you're the, on the outside looking in, wishing you could be part of the club, having that success. And so we're gonna help you get to that point. And there he is. So Jake, welcome. Everybody, Hello. this is Jake Fannin. And I've known Jake for many, many years. And it is true. We used to sing karaoke <laughs> together like almost every weekend. Mr. K's karaoke in Huntington Beach. Yes. That's right, that's right. Good old for the it's record. Cold. For the record, Bill can tear up some Google Dolls and Collective Soul. I mean, <laughs> you should hear him. Well, I, I, think we should the start, song. I think we should start a petition where everyone demands that you sing a Google Dolls song. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I've, I've known Jake for a long time, um, and he's, he's part of our team here now. So Jake actually uh, helps people. Um, I mean, I guess we can call you the director of sales, but it's kind of a misleading title really, because it's really about how you help people um, understand how to move forward on what the right path is for them. And I know you have that approach and as a, our whole company kind of has a little bit of a different approach that that's more important that somebody understands what they need to do next to have success. And maybe that means working with us and using some of our tools, but sometimes not. Sometimes it, the, the right decision is to do something else. That's right. and. You know, you say sales and it kind of can have a negative connotation uh, and understandably so. You know, if you're walking down the mall and someone says, hey, buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this. or you're trying to buy a car. It has that connotation. That's not the case with our department. I tell my sales reps, that, which are just fantastic. I'm very proud to have this team. Don't think of yourself as a salesman. Think of yourself as a doctor. You know, someone's before you. You do some discovery. You find out what's going on with them. What you done in the past? How is it going now? Where do you want to go? And they do a diagnosis, you know, and that's what we, that's what I train them to do. And they're excellent at it. And uh, that's how we approach things. And you're absolutely right, Bill. There's been more than one occasion, in which I said, you know what? I don't think this product is for you. Or I point them in another direction. You know, it happened just today where I said, you need to go use this service over here. It has nothing to do with our company. So we're here to help. And that's our primary objective. We do great in sales. We have great products and they pretty much sell themselves. So we don't need to twist your arm. We just want to help. So that's that's what we're here for. Yeah. And what we're going to talk about today is these three points that I think people get stuck on. And I know, Jake, you and I, you know, we have conversations really regularly about where the customers are at, what they're running into and how we can help them. You know, I don't know if you heard at the outset of me hitting those three points, overwhelm, uncertainty and frustration that that was my view on it but you know you've talked to literally thousands of people to help them with this mm. stuff what what do you think yeah overwhelm comes in different forms you know somebody might just not even know where what direction to go right where do i get mm. started you know they might be completely new at the whole game and they might not know what business direction to go in or they see all these tools which one is the best for me and that's just such an overwhelming amount of information out there and new technology is coming on and platforms are changing all the time. It's just, where do I go? What do I do? 
or they might be a very successful doctor or accountant and they've maybe they're a multimillionaire and they come to us and they go, well, I want to bring this online. Uh, you know, I've read all this stuff and where do I go? You know, so the overwhelm comes in in different forms from general direction to which specific things do I do and who do I trust and and all this type of thing. So it, it comes in various forms. And when you experience it, you get kind of stuck and you don't move and the whole process is not enjoyable. So that's the last place you want to be in. You want to keep moving forward. And I love what you said earlier about, you know, doing what you love and, you know, bringing in that type of motivation. It's just imperative to, to, to be in that place, you know, and the yeah, other I think a lot of people, a lot of people get stuck with this idea that this whole, I'll use air quotes, make money online. I really don't like that label, but that's sort of the label that a lot of this entrepreneurial stuff um, gets labeled with. And I think people get the wrong impression that it's some sort of a gimmick, right? You're going to do mm -hmm. some sort of scheme to have magic money, you know, fall from the ceiling or something, you know, when really it's about helping people. So, um, you know, and, and I think it's important that you help the right group of people that somebody that aligns with you. And I think people worry that they're not an expert or they're not a guru. And so they can't, you know, serve a market from that perspective. And I, and I don't think that's true. And if you have somebody who is kind of new, they're not a guru, they're not an expert. What kind of advice might you give them on that topic? Well, first off is don't stop moving. That is the most important factor for me. You know, if you, if you look at surveys of successful people, you'll see right up there persistence. You don't stop moving. Right. Um, now, if you've got a thousand one options in front of you, you might go, OK, I won't stop moving. But of the, of the thousand options in front of me, you know, which one do I go with? Um, I would always say, you know, have a sounding board, have someone that you can speak to. And this is why I'm here right now for you to come to us, say, well, here's all what I have going on. Can you help me out with that? That is a, a is a huge factor. It's how we're built as people. Right. To talk to people, to work with people. And that's why I'm proud to be part of this team, because we have a great sales staff. We have a great support staff. We have great mentors out there and often just getting things out of your head, you know, and talking to another person, having a sounding board is enough to kickstart you and, and get you going. So um, those would be some things I would consider right off the bat. So that, that's a great chance for me to plug something that, that you're working on. So um, we piloted this new service that I want to tell everybody about and put your wallets away. You can <laughs> feel, feel you're safe. Put the wallets away. You can put the purse away. We have, an, we have something that we'd like to offer you. You know, if you're, if you're not yet a customer of ours and you're somebody who's, you know, a, a, an entrepreneur who, uh, who wants to get started and whether or not maybe you're thinking about some of the products or services that we're, we have, or maybe not, you know, maybe you don't even know what we sell. Wherever you're at, we want to help you. So what we're doing is we're offering a free session and this is not a sales session. It's about how can we help you with these three factors, overwhelm, uncertainty, and frustration. So if you're in one of those positions and you're looking for a breakthrough, you're not sure what to do next, what direction to go in and how to get to profitability, to success, then we're going to offer some free help. And all you need to do to claim your free help is head on over to pushbutton.ai slash frustrated. So pretty applicable link, right? <laughs> pushbutton.ai slash frustrated. And Jake, you want to describe a little bit about how you might be able to help someone um, if they claim their session? Sure. This is all tailor-made to you. You know, everyone that comes across our lines is really a unique person, you know, from the person that knows nothing to, you know, the, the CPA that needs to bring things online to somebody that's maybe tried for a few years and, and not had success. So, you know, everyone has different resources, you know, everybody has different lives. And we take all that all of that information into account and we do what's called discovery. We'll sit down with you. We'll gather all the information we can. It's a, this is about you. This is not about us and it's not about our product. The discovery process is 100% about you. So we, we go through the process. We ask you a series of questions, find out as much as we can, and then come up with what we would say would be a recommendation. So that, that is basically the process. And yeah, there's a lot of things out there. 
Um, but if you know what paths to take, you know, if you know the steps to success, then you just take them. And, you know, we can definitely help you with all that. Oh, there you go. So what you'll come away with, if I'm hearing this correctly, is a little certainty. So you have some certainty on what to do next. Is that my understanding that right? Absolutely. That'll be the end result, right? You'll walk yeah. away with, you know, one, you're, you're not alone in this process. You know, you have somebody here that can help you through the myriad of choices and, you know, options that you have, right? So just that has, has value, right? But then you're going to walk away at the end with a direction. This is where we're going to, you know, my recommendation or our team's recommendation for you uh, to start down this path. And like I said, it might have something to do with this company and our products. It might not, you know, so you will walk away with a path that, you know, recommended for you to, to walk down. Yeah. Well, look, you know, my, my attitude or my approach to this is I want people to be successful and that's literally, you know, my mission in life. And Jake knows me quite well. So he can maybe speak to this a little bit too. So it's not just coming, you know, you just, you'll hear me talk about that, but it, you know, over 10 years ago, I think it's going on almost 12 years ago, I made a decision that that was my, my mission in life was to help entrepreneurs. And sure, would I love to have you as a customer? Absolutely. I'd love to do business with you. I would love to have, obviously, the sales and the revenue to help me grow my business. That would be fantastic. But that might not be the ultimate right choice, both for you, but also for me, right? If it's not a good fit, I don't want a frustrated customer. I would rather you buying someone else's product or service, whether it's ClickFunnels as an example, right? And maybe that's a good tool for you to use to launch your business or, or maybe you're launching into a business model that's not an area that, that I can help you. I would much rather point you to a, a friend of mine or a person that can help you actually achieve success. And it'd be great if it turns out that you can use some of my products and services and Jake can point you at those. That's fantastic. But um, I'm really fine either way. I just want to make sure that we help as many people as possible. Yeah, I've, you know? I've known Bill for 25 years, right? I moved out to California to be a rock star right out of college music, <laughs> music degree. Never thought I would be, be a business person. And I guess it happened by osmosis with, with my friend here. Absolutely, 100% over the last 25 years. You know, Bill has demonstrated just time and time again that the guy just likes to help people, right? I remember, I mean, he's been my mentor for 25 years. Hey, Bill, what's the what's the latest thing I can do to make money online? You know, I want to go play my music, so I don't want to work. I want to want to make, make business. He would always point me a direction. I would take it, have success, sometimes working with him, sometimes on my own. Um, I'll give you a brief story. It'll illustrate this point very well. I walk into his office one day. I, I, I sat down very proud, you know, Hey Bill, I'm making two to three grand a day now. You know, I'd never made this kind of money in my life. And he looks over at me and he goes, great, Jake, I'm making eight right now. Eight. How are you doing that bill? And he, it was a time when um, Firefox would pay you a dollar for downloads and, and Google was paying two fifty for download Google earth. Like you're making eight grand off of dollar downloads. How is that possible? You know, did he go, well, you know, it's just thinking of something I uh, came up with. No, he said, well, come around the desk. I'll show you, you know, and he just showed me everything he's done. He was doing, was he worried about competition or I might cut into his profits or no, it's, that's just bill. You know, here's what I'm doing. And that's what his products are. Yeah. Here's the things I've done to make money. You know, you can do them too. <laughs> so just a little story, you know, uh, from our history uh, to, to support that point. So, and I appreciate it. That's another point too. You have had a tremendous amount of success in your own right with the, the the stuff that you've done. So when people get a chance to chat with you or your team, there's there's a background there of success. Jake knows an awful lot about how to, you know, strategize and execute on uh, getting a successful business going. Yeah, I've done it quite a bit and under your mentorship. So I appreciate it, Bill. Awesome. All right. Well, I want to remind everybody to go to pushbutton.ai slash frustrated if you would like the team's help. Again, not intended to be a sales process. It's all about how we can help you get unstuck and get some certainty on what you can do next. And if it happens to be that our products or services can help you, we'll recommend them to you, or we may recommend someone else's if that's a better fit. But we will let you know exactly what the right thing is for you. 
Now, if you remember in the training that that I've done, I talk about how when you try to you know go into a niche market and help people, it's all about that perfect blend of how can you help them and also build a profitable business at the same time. And that's what I want to achieve. I want to help you is the senior most important thing. And if we can work together, awesome. That's great. And if not, I just want to hear about your success once you've achieved it. So that's that's the deal, right? The deal is we'll give you this help, free, no strings attached. I just want you to tell me about how it helps you. So if it helps you have a breakthrough, I want to hear all about it. And uh, and again, you can go to pushbutton.ai slash frustrated to uh, get more. And speaking of frustrated, let's talk about that one for a minute. We've kind of hit sure. on the overwhelm, on the uncertainty, mm-hmm. but I think some people, they feel like they were told what to do and now they've done it and they're frustrated. What, what, what do you have to say about that? Yeah. Uh, again, that comes from different areas, you know, um, maybe somebody, you know, bought courses that didn't work out for them and they get frustrated. They're like, well, I bought this course and it said to do these things and it didn't work out what's going on. Right. So, uh, that's a, a very common thing I hear. And most often it, that happens because, you know, there maybe wasn't quite enough detail in the course itself, or they just didn't get the support they needed to make that thing happen because, you know, there's, there's so many ways to actually make money online. There's a lot of great information out there. It's just understanding not only the big, the big picture when it comes to certain things, but how do you get past some of the little things, you know, and how do you get the support you need? Uh, that's, that's a major thing I run into uh, with frustration. And um, I would say probably that that's one of the number one things. When, well, I, I want to add something to this. That'll make it a little bit more, con- make it a little confusing, but <laughs> But here's something that happens too, right? Sometimes that frustration can be from, you know, you've got some uh, incorrect information or it's a course that only is half giving you all the data you need and stuff mm-hmm. like Jake said. And then sometimes it's because you're like this far away from a breakthrough. I, truthfully, in my business and in my experience, what I've run into is in those moments where I'm feeling frustrated, I'm often just a couple of things, just a couple of steps, a couple of changes, a couple, few more little things to adjust and to keep pushing through the frustration to my breakthrough. And that's happened to me over and over again. And the moment where I I almost threw in the towel and be like, you know what? This strategy isn't working. I'm going to quit. But something gets me to like look at it one last time and go, okay, well, maybe I just adjust this tweak this and keep going and then boom breakthrough and then all of a sudden i'm yeah. now you know so that does happen um and so Very if you're experiencing frustration you just might be like <laughs> this far from a breakthrough and that's all about for me managing expectations right mm-hmm. how what is your general approach to doing things you know does the next action you take must it be a success or oh all is lost or is it no, this is a process. I'm kind of curious what this is all about. Let's go on a little adventure. And, you know, I can't tell you how many times over the last 20 years, uh, I've done a lot of different things, right? You, you, you go to do something, you think, oh, this is going to be great. I just know that's going to be great. And it doesn't work out. And then you try something else kind of half-heartedly and suddenly, you know, suddenly you got a volcano on your hands, you know, Uh, it's, it's for me, it's about managing expectations and it's about having, a bit of an attitude of adventure, you know, and yeah. that combination, you know, and, and being in something that, you know, that Bill mentioned earlier is vital, you know, it's doing something that motivates you. So that kind of triad right there, that works for me, you know, it's approaching yeah. the right mindset. Well, I think there are some marketers out there, you know, I, I know all the gurus and all the people in, in the space that you guys hear that are out there selling courses and tools. I, I know almost all of them. Lots of them are good people. The most, I'll tell you, the vast majority of them are really good people that want to help their customers. Sometimes they don't get it right. Sometimes they do a bad job supporting their product. But in the core, they really want to do a good job and they're trying to pass on the information to help people succeed. But every once in a while, there's one of these yahoos out there that are just uh, unethical, misleading, 
and they cause confusion and frustration for everyone because they, mm -hmm. they set a false expectation of things, you know, like I, I've seen people that will come to us and they have the, the, the feeling that, you know, that this is some kind of magic and that's going to save them from some horrible situation. You know, I'll, I'll mm -hmm. give you an example. Literally had someone who like in bankruptcy about to be evicted from their house, you know, like, you know, like possibly losing their cars and whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and then they come thinking that online marketing is going to somehow overnight, you know, by tomorrow when they come to, uh, you know, to repossess the car <laughs> is going to somehow fix that. And that is not the case, right? It's not magic that is going to take someone from a situation like that to having like lots of money in your pocket. But what it will do is if you work at it over time, you can build a business that prevents that from ever happening again. That's what it will do. So if you're approaching trying to build an internet business that it's going to somehow save your life from some desperate situation, um, that's not the right way to look at it. And, it. and others have made it seem like, you know, yeah, that somehow it's going to give you your car payment tomorrow or, or next week. And that's just not the case. Not an ethical thing to do. And it's certainly yeah. not something we engage in, right? We're here yeah. to help build entrepreneurs. You know, it, it makes, you know, it brings us joy. That's what we're here for, right? Yeah. Um, like I'm, I'm middle-aged too. <laughs> so <laughs> you mentioned a middle-aged thing, you know, yeah. that, that happens with other industries. You see somebody that achieves success and it's like, okay, well now I want to help people. That's what we're here to do. And if you're willing, you know, to, to move forward in a, in a manner that, you know, you, you have the, the proper expectations, the, the right attitude, you know, you want to move forward with us, you know, we're here to help you every step of the way. Right. Um, yep, not for quick fixes, you know, I do want to, you know, say something that sometimes things can happen very fast. I mean, they can, yeah, that is true. It's yeah. not like it doesn't happen that, that you can have quick success, but mm -hmm. I, I always caution someone that if like, Again, like if you're going to be evicted, you're going to lose your car, you know, like you're won't be able to feed your children. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and and instead you're focused on, you know, like thinking that you're going to have an Internet business handle that in like a week. That's not going to be mm -hmm. that's more what I'm concerned with. But yeah. yeah. And I've had people in front of me that thought that. And I said, you know, this isn't for you then. You know, you need to do some things to handle your immediate circumstances and then come back to us when you're in a in a position you know, to really build something here. Yeah, I mean, and there are things people can do to solve that, right? I don't want to make it like it's hopeless, right? You can do things like selling services on Fiverr. I've talked about that on the channel. That is a viable way. But now you're trading your time and some services mm -hmm. for money, right? Which is a little different than building a business and being an entrepreneur. So sir, it's almost like getting a part-time gig on the side, you know? Like, you know, I, that would be the thing. I would say, you know, if somebody were in a situation like that, do something in addition, driving Uber, you know, doing deliveries, uh, go on Fiverr and sell graphic design services. If you, you know, I've got a video on my channel that teaches you how to do that. Even if you don't even know how to do graphic design, you can go sign up on Fiverr and sell graphic design services. So again, that is a little bit of trading time for money to help you get out of that short term situation. But, uh, but if you're looking for a long term solution, that, yeah, you, you can have success like that. It does happen. It's not the normal, but it happens. And you're looking for a way so that that never happens to you again, that you have the financial freedom to do what you want when you want, that you've got a business that's successful. It's got profit coming in and it's supporting you and giving you everything you want out of life like that. If achieving that is what you want, that's absolutely what Jake and his team can help you with. And, uh, Again, go to pushbutton.ai slash frustrated to claim your session. And uh, no obligation, just have a chat with them and they'll point you in the right direction so that you can be a success story. And just uh, my only request again is if it's helpful, if you have a breakthrough, if you have some success after talking with Jake and his team, then uh, please tell us about it and give us a, a testimonial. Give us a success story. Yeah, we're waiting. So. Come on over. Let us help you out. <laughs> hey, if we get enough awesome success stories, maybe you can convince me to do some karaoke. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So if I get 
<laughs> these success stories will you sing a goo goo doll song on your show <laughs> <laughs> what was the one i used to sing december i think was the one i'd often sing right yeah that's collective soul right that's called collective soul yeah that's collective right soul. let's see what was the goo goo doll song i used to do all the time um, um was it slide, slide that's it body. yeah yeah goo goo dolls so if you'd like to make me sing karaoke, go out and get some <laughs> success. So. Oh, I would love that. Please. <laughs> now, now I want even more bookings. <laughs> well, hey, Jake, thank you for hanging out with us today. So for those of you who are not yet a Push Button AI customer, then you need to check this out. And all you need to do is go to pushbutton.ai slash demo, pushbutton.ai slash demo, and you can get a live one-on-one -on -one appointment to get on Zoom and see this powerful technology in action. And with Pushbutton AI, it will build an entire business from bottom to top, everything you need from your domain name to your logo, to videos, to audio lessons, an entire course that you can sell as your own, a 30-day email sequence, and it writes, you can send a daily email for 30 days, all written by AI, and a whole lot more. It writes your sales page. If you're not sure how to write an expert sales page to convince people to buy stuff, it writes it for you. It writes a free report that you can give away to get subscribers to your list. It even creates and writes the opt-in subscription page to get people to subscribe to get the free report. And it goes on and on and on. It even writes your first 10 blog posts for you and it can do so much more. Social media posts, ads, all of these things are done and all you have to do is answer a couple of questions and push a button. Now, Push Button AI is not available to the public at the time of recording this video. And the only way to get in is by invite to our behind the scenes beta access. And during your live demo, We'll show you the technology. We'll actually work with you to actually map out an entire course that you could sell as your own. We'll outline the course with you together on the one-on-one -on -one Zoom call. And then if you so decide, if you're a good fit, you can come in, join our Push Button AI beta program and be in business with that very course by the next day. Go to pushbutton.ai slash demo to figure out if this powerful technology is right for you. You can register there. there. You'll book an appointment in the calendar. Be sure you show up. Our team will be very excited to meet you and show you how the tech works, outline your new course for you, and hopefully it's a fit and we can work together to launch your next business.